Welcome back. Of course, the big game is tomorrow. You're likely heading to the grocery store today to stock up on chips, queso, wings. Mm -hmm. But the Super Bowl does not have to be an excuse to ruin your New Year's resolution of eating healthy. This morning, Carly Pollock with Nutritional Wisdom is here with tips on how we can watch the big game and our diet. Of course, I mentioned wings, and there are wings on these plates. There are. <laughs> there are. Not that many, but there's a few. I think whether it's the Super Bowl or any event, the best nutritional strategy would be moderation, slow, mindful eating, not restriction. Yeah, because I know there are people at home who are going, you got to be crazy. I mean, for one day, I can indulge. Yeah, and I think... Um, it is about indulging in the right balance. Mm -hmm. I don't want people to wake up the next day feeling uh, horrible about themselves and that shame and guilt cycle that really leads us to eat more unhealthy food. And I also don't want them to leave feeling uncomfortable not being able to really enjoy the game. Mm -hmm. So I've given a little example of uh, here, this is what I consider real food. So I want you to think about going to this party uh, deciding to not eat processed food and really enjoying the real stuff. So what I mean by real food is real food will rot and spoil. Uh -huh. So everything on this plate, although we might not say that it's completely healthy, it is going to go bad if you leave it out. So focusing on that instead of what we have here, which is what I consider processed foods. Processed foods come in a bag or a box, most likely, mm -hmm. and their shelf life for most of these products will outlive us all. Uh -huh. So um, I think you're going to wind up doubling your calories if you add all of the chips on top of the food. Mm -hmm. For me personally, I'd rather eat the chicken wings and the mac and cheese and avoid the um, mindless calories, especially because this behavior is a hand, a repetitive hand to mouth, yeah. I think so much of this type of eating is outside of our consciousness. Mm -hmm. And you're sitting in front of the TV for three to four hours. Mm -hmm. I mean, even outside the Super Bowl, it's not, you hear it's not a good idea to eat in front of the TV. I think that um, it's better to graze off of your plate than to graze off of the spread. Mm -hmm. So when I go to a party, I want to grab what I um, only intend to eat and then slowly eat this. And this is the whole concept behind consciousness. Conscious eating is to slow down and enjoy your food. I think that we overeat because we only taste one tenth of our food's flavor, so we need to eat ten times the amount to feel satisfied. If you slow down, you'll notice you need much less than you think you do. Mm -hmm. And this plate right here. I'm no expert, you're the expert, but yeah. it could fill you up um, better than a bowl of chips, which is still going to leave you hungry. I always teach my clients, you should never eat more than what you can carry in your two hands. And we can spread our fingers, thank goodness, but you can see that for me, it wouldn't be more than this. And for most people, their two hands are not going to be as big as the normal entree plate, and certainly not as big as the serving platters that we get at restaurants and at parties like mm -hmm. this. So if you have big hands, you're lucky. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, these are some great tips this morning. Of course, we're going to have all of this information on our website as well. Is there anything special about the wings or the mac and cheese that you've got on the plates? Well, I think quality is important. I purchased all this stuff from Whole Foods. So a chicken wing that has no hormones or antibiotics added versus going to Pluckers and getting just a right or any place and mm -hmm. getting just a regular um, wing. So uh, spend the extra five or ten dollars and feed the people you love and care about high quality quality food. Got it. And if you do go to Pluckers for wings, just watch how many you're yeah, putting in your you mouth. Know, some, you, my mentor used to always say you can run but you can't hide. There's going to be times where the quality is out of your control, but quantity is something that you always have control over. Always being mindful when you eat and stopping when you're satisfied instead of feeling full and having that be the thing that stops you. Okay. Carly, thank you so much. Good, Good advice so this morning. Now you've made David and I very hungry. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs>